Welcome back to Peterson Auto. Today we're doing a power steering pump replacement on an 01 Cherokee. It's a Jeep Cherokee. It has the uh, 4 liter engine like they all did. But if you didn't know, power steering pump on the 4 liter engine. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove the pump. As you can see, we already have it removed here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to switch out the pulley for uh, onto the new pump. And we're going to put it all back together. Okay, to start out, you have to remove your fan. If you look, there's a tab on either side that'll have a screw in it. This one's pretty well busted up. There's a connector here, which leads down here in front of the air box. There's a red tab on it. You push the red tab over into that position there. And then the back you push down on and connector slides apart. You also have to remove your serpentine belt. This is a 15 mil. Uh, after loosening this bolt down here, which I forget what that was offhand, you loosen the 15 mil. It'll move this pulley down and away so you can get the belt off of the pump. So now that we have that done, you have three bolts here, here, and down there that hold the pump on, and then you have two pump brackets down there. Um, so I'm going to be pulling all those and we're going to get this pump out. We have the return line on the back that will need to be removed. You can see it coming down right in there. And here's your pressure hose, which comes here. 16 mil fits this. That's what I used on it. And as you can see, there's a lot of play there. Those bearings are absolutely shot. So I'm going to get this rest way off. We're going to show you how to pull the pulley and then we're going to put it back together. Okay, now that we have the pump out of the Jeep, we're going to sit here and we're going to take off the pulley. You got a couple tools here. Uh, this is just the uh, generic rental tool. So what you have is you have a couple collets, a puller sleeve that spins, and then a sleeve that holds things in place. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to take the collet sleeve and get that underneath there. There we go. So you can see how it's sitting underneath that lip in the pulley. You're going to go ahead and put your puller piece once I get this unthreaded. in and then put the other collet on so you have an assembly and put the retainer sleeve over top then you can start tightening up the puller okay now that you have your tool on properly you're going to go ahead you're going to take your wrenches there's the lower nut and the upper nut put them on there I'm backwards from the other way. You want to tighten. And it can get quite challenging. A little bit. Sometimes things don't always work out the plan. You can see the little lip on this uh, collet here. There's two halves of it, obviously, and it goes around and goes underneath there like that. Well, this thing seized on there. As you can see, there's the remains of that lip that is used to pull the pulley off. So, looks like we're running to get a new pulley. Not everything goes to plan. Apparently, this thing was seized on there a little more than uh, we expected. So, off to get a pulley. Okay, YouTube, we're back with a new pulley. So, since the old one didn't want to come off, here's a new one for you. So, all you do is there's this installation tool. Uh, this goes in. The bolt threads into the shaft, and then the little nut is what you turn. So you take your, in this case, 17 and 15. No, that's another thing. That don't fit. 17 and 15. Put them on. There we go. And then just tighten the bolt. There 
then it'll press the pulley on. You can see how it's pressing the pulley on. And this will take a minute, so just bear with me. If I could sing very well, I'd probably sing you a song. Future reference, camera's shaking because it's clamped to my temporary workbench, so, you know, may not be the best idea, but it shows you up close and personal what you need to see, and I think we're pressed on. Take your wrenches off, spin your tool out, see where we're at now. Not quite there yet, so we're going to spin the tool back in, spin it in until it bottoms out, then back it off, turn, half a turn, just enough so it's not bottomed out and you're not going to damage that shaft, lock it back down. Well, back to it, working on pressing the pulley. Now we're definitely tight. Okay. The owner tool is not the greatest, unfortunately. There's some gunk on the threads. And I wasn't quite sure if it's on, but now you can see it's nice and flush. That's how it should be. Nice and flush. That way you know you're on there good. So now we're going to go ahead and take it outside where it's freezing cold out because, uh, currently have my truck broke down in front of the garage so we're going back outside where it's freezing cold to put this back on and I'll give you a run to uh, run down through that okay we're back outside we have the return line connected there's a straight head here I uh, or I think it's like it's a little smaller than an eight mil socket but I use a straight head on it on this return line then you have your feed line there's a spot down here where an o-ring goes I already pulled the old one off I'm going to take your new o-ring you have a little bit of power steering fluid in the cap there and loop it up and come up here and get you a little bit of a view maybe maybe not work it up over and on i will probably need two hands for this let's try it one more time Yes, I will. But you replace this O-ring, because if not, it is going to leak, so you want to replace that O-ring there. Okay, now the pump's bolted back in. You can see how you can stick your socket through the hole in the pulley to access the three mounting bolts I mentioned earlier. Next, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this line, make sure our new O-ring's on there, put it in. I'm gonna need a wrench to get that started because the line is frozen up. Never start things with wrenches, however, when the line's frozen up like this and you're working on a budget, uh, this is just a uh, get it running again job for someone, we'll go ahead and we'll use the wrench to 
get that started. So uh, after that, we already have a return hose hooked up. We just need to route the belt back up here. Once we have the belt routed, it loops around the crank, up over the idler, around the power steering, and then down around the water pump. Once we have that all routed back where it needs to go, we'll go ahead and we'll tension it back here with the tensioner, lock down the pulley bolt for the idler, and then we'll be ready to fill it up. So, Okay, so we have everything back together. We have the pump bolts tightened, the line tightened, return line on, have this bolt down here for the tensioner tightened after adjusting the tension with this bolt here. We have not installed the fan. Uh, because I don't know how much of a good idea that is. That particular one of these models is for use with the AC on. That's the only time it comes on. So uh, the owner's gonna go ahead and find a, a new fan and uh, probably a new shroud here. And at some other point that'll be replaced there. However, um, everything is back to go, uh, back together and good to go. All we need to do is just uh, bleed it, get the air out of the system. To do that, you fill up the reservoir, you start it up and keep it topped off um, and then just turn your wheel back and forth salt back and forth whole way right whole way left whole way right whole way left and keep topping it off until all the uh, air comes out of the system you won't hear any whining and your power steering will be back to normal so we're gonna get that done I'm not gonna put that on video because uh, the process I just told you is what it is and it's gonna be quite loud with the engine running and everything else so thank you for watching have any uh, questions or concerns uh, please Feel free to leave a comment and uh, always subscribe. Remember to subscribe to the videos. Keep seeing what I have coming out here next. Thank you again.